Welcome to the last video of our Getting Started series. This final tutorial is about result visualization. A simulation result is simply the values for pressure, velocity, and additional quantities for a discrete number of points in the flow domain. To be able to make sense of this large amount of data, it is necessary to convert it into an understandable format for interpretation. This process is called post-processing. Here you can extract and isolate individual components of the results as well as visualize this data. Below you can see a good example for this. First, a slice is extracted from the velocity field in the fluid domain. Then the slice is processed by decomposing the velocity magnitude to its components. Let's now switch back to the platform and analyze the results from the pipe flow simulation. Select the project which contains the simulation of the pipe system from the last video. You will find the project on the project list on the left side. Now switch to the post processor by clicking the related button in the main ribbon bar. You can now select in the project tree on the left side which simulation or mesh you want to visualize. Every simulation run has its own item in the tree. Now click on the convergence plot item. This will open a 2D plot in the formerly empty field on the right side. The graphic shows the residual of different physical quantities versus the number of computing iterations. In our case, the residuals were so small that the simulation was stopped automatically even before reaching the 1000 iterations. The next step is to start with the result visualization. Click on the solution fields item. This will load the 3D post-processing field. First we need to jump to the right step. By default, the initial state of the simulation is loaded. Moving the mouse close to the play icon will open a sub-menu where you can change the time step. Please load the last time step by clicking the fast forward icon. Now we will create a slice through the pipe. Click on the add filter icon and choose slice filter. This will add a new item to the post-processing tree, which is in the middle column. Here you can specify the slice by an original and a normal vector. Hide the rest of the model by disabling the visible flag for the run to make the slice visible. By default, all filters will be colored with a solid color. You can change this in the drop-down menu above. There is another very useful filter to visualize the flow called Stream Tracer. This will create streamlines through a user-defined point or line source. Please note that you have to apply this filter to the whole case, so make sure that you select the highest entry of the post-processing tree before adding the filter. We will now create streamlines through a point. Change the seed type to point source with the center at the origin, and change the radius of the point to point 1. This will create some nice streamlines. You may note that the streamlines are not filling the whole pipe system. You have to increase the maximal streamline length, first to 5. By the way, streamlines can also be colored using the same workflow like slices. Lastly, you can generate screenshots. Click on the viewport tools and then on generate screenshot from viewer icon. The screenshots can be downloaded from the screenshot section in the project tree. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now you are ready to run your own internal flow simulation projects. If you want to learn more about simulation with SimScale, we recommend that you access our documentation. Don't forget that you can also use the free library projects and learn by doing. Good luck with your simulations!